This episode of the 9-11 Magazine is all about two worlds. The new Panamera Sport Turismo tours a land of power and calm. A groundbreaking hybrid drive enjoys success in racing. The relationship between humans and technology is examined anew. A Lego Porsche meets the original. And boundaries blur between the digital and real. But let's start by heading to Iceland. Iceland is hard to describe. It's a land of contrast. Fire and ice shaped this island, and I think it's just beautiful. It's a lot of power here somehow. You can really feel it. It's a lot of energy underneath the ground. On the other hand, it's also calm and quiet, and that makes it very special. My name is Peter Lands. I'm uh, a pilot for Iceland Air. I fly from the uh, busy centers in uh, US, Canada, and Europe to one of the most remote places in the world. It's not a job, it's a goddamn adventure. Most of the flights are passenger flights, but once in a while we have also cargo flights. My last cargo flight was uh, very special. I was lucky to be able to fly the new Porsche Panamera Turbo S E Hybrid Sport Turismo to Iceland. This car is amazing, you know, it combines the best of two worlds. It's a sports car and a family car in one. And you have this amazing engine which produces 680 horsepower. On the other hand, it's a hybrid and that's very sustainable. This car fits perfectly to Iceland because all our energy is natural. The acceleration is amazing, you know, it just goes like a rocket. How do you call it when you have this uh, rubber band and you do like this and then ding, let go? You're ding! You, instantly you are flying, you know. <laughs> and let's just say I'm not the only guy that likes fast cars in Iceland. Back in 2006, we started the Porsche Club in Iceland. I've been taking care of the club as president and uh, we're the most northern club in Europe and maybe even worldwide. The members of the club are great guys. They're uh, very passionate about Porsche. It's a very fast world we live in and we cannot go full thrust all the time. It's very important that we reload our batteries and recharge our energy and home is where I can do that the best. Having a good family is a fundamental thing of having a good life and even better if you can share the same interest. In the flying and the driving passion, it's like a family thing here in this house. Apart from the family being in a cockpit of a Boeing or a Porsche are the most passionate places for me to stay in. And that's what I live for, and to be honest, I could not think about anything better right now. This 911 GT3 is something very special, for it is one of the first modern hybrids from Porsche. Back in 1900, Ferdinand Porsche developed the first car ever with a hybrid drive. In 2010, the automobile manufacturer returned to the hybrid motor, this time to develop it for racing. The result was the 911 GT3 R Hybrid with a 480 horsepower flat six rear engine, plus two 81 horsepower electric motors that drive the front wheels. An unusual feature of this system is that it works without a battery. Brake energy is recovered in a flywheel accumulator, which stores it as rotational energy as it accelerates to around 40,000 RPM. When needed, this energy can deliver a boost to the front axle. The car has a longer range and needs fewer stops at the pump. This is a major step toward drive systems of the future. The GT3 R Hybrid enjoyed its greatest success with an overall win in its class at the 2011 endurance race on the Nürburgring. Ich habe ein sehr enges Verhältnis zur Technik. Ich war immer schon ein Nerd. Ich habe mir schon als Jugendlicher meine Rechner selber zusammengebaut, als das noch nicht so Mainstream war. Und bin dann jetzt schlussendlich bei der elektronischen Musik gelandet. 
Ich trage die modernste Handprothese, die momentan am Markt verfügbar ist. Weil ich ohne den linken Unterarm zur Welt gekommen bin, das ist ein seltener Geburtsfehler, gibt es ungefähr einmal auf 100.000 Geburten und man weiß auch nicht, woher das kommt. Das ist einfach Pech. Als Professor für Psychologie hier an der TU Chemnitz beschäftige ich mich nicht nur damit, wie sich Menschen zueinander verhalten, sondern ich beschäftige mich auch mit dem Verhältnis zwischen Mensch und Technik. Einer der Gründe, warum ich zu diesem Forschungsthema gekommen bin, ist natürlich auch meine eigene Biografie. Ja, Research ist immer auch ein bisschen Research. Ja, ich habe natürlich schon auch früh in meinem Leben die Erfahrung gemacht, was es bedeutet, anders zu sein. Seitdem ich jetzt diese bionische Hand trage, ist es gar nicht mehr so. Und das hat auch dazu geführt, dass ich eine ganz andere Beziehung zu meiner Behinderung entwickelt habe. Ja, dass es mir damit nicht mehr so schlecht geht wie früher. Und das finde ich auch nicht unproblematisch, ein gutes Stück des eigenen Selbstwertes an so einem sehr teuren Stück Technik auch festzumachen. Wir müssen auch in unserem Alltag, im Umgang mit der Technik, eine gesunde Balance finden. Unser Alltag wird immer stärker durchdrungen von Assistenzsystemen und künstlicher Intelligenz. Das ist nicht per se gut oder schlecht. Wir Menschen streben eigentlich nach Autonomie, aber ein gewisses Abgeben von Arbeit und Entscheidung hat den menschlichen Fortschritt schon immer charakterisiert. Letztendlich wird der technische Fortschritt uns dann weiterführen, wenn er es uns ermöglicht, unsere Potenziale zu entfalten, ohne uns dabei einzuschränken. Gute Technik ist schlussendlich Technik, über die wir die Kontrolle behalten. The 911 Carrera RS 3.8. Only 55 of them were produced, making it one of the rarest models in the 911 series. But this Porsche is not real. What looks astonishingly like the iconic car in Indian red is actually a computer rendering and the result of a labor of love by Georgia Illich. As a 3D artist and Porsche fan, he devoted four years of free time to this digital replica, which ultimately can no longer be distinguished from the real thing. Illich used photos from the internet as models, and a toy car his father had given him for his birthday. With the help of real textures plus filters for the different components, the super sports car gradually emerged. Placed in the right light, the car is finished. A digital declaration of love to the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8. It's hard to describe the acceleration on this car. You know, in the launch control, you're just laughing, you know. It's like somebody is, is driving on, on, on your back, you know, hitting you. 